Hey guys, Crouch Man here, just having a little green tea. And thinking about friends, right? This whole concept of friends. Now, biblically speaking, right, it's in the scripture where two or more gather, uh, the whole cord, stronger, not just you. But there's also a story uh, in the Bible that really talks about what friends do for one another, right? And so there's a paraplegic. Now, this guy typically is an outcast from society, but he has four friends. And they hear that Jesus is coming to town, right? And so they say, man, if we can get our buddy to Jesus, right, he might be able to save him and get him to walk. And so they put on, get him on his mat, and they're huffing, and they're puffing, and they're getting down to Jesus. And guess what? Can't get in. It's jam-packed. But these four friends don't quit. They have a never-quit attitude. They, they are true gritters. And they say, okay, how can we get him in front of Jesus? And so they pull him up this, this side of this, this roof building, and they drop him down in front of Jesus. Unbelievable. In, ingenuity, right? A, a never-quit attitude for their friend. And as Jesus looks at him, he says, Jesus says, watch this. Don't miss this. this is so powerful. He says, but for their faith, but for your faith, friends, what you did for your buddy, get up and walk out. Wow, right? I'm so moved by that story because here's the question. Turn the lights down, put the incense on. Who's holding your mat? Who will, who will take a never say never attitude for you? We're lucky to have three, four, maybe five in our lifetime who we call great friends that will do that. Now flip it. Whose mat are you holding? Who are you willing to help out? Who are you willing to walk to the ends of the earth for? It's one thing to be a friend and have a friend. I encourage you, right, to be a great friend and understand whose mat you're holding and who's holding your mat. Make it a great day. It's truly up to you. Love you.